start. And my flaps will be up. My passenger briefing has been completed. Follow my instruction, please. And the seat belt, it is checked. And uh, the fuel selected is to the fullest. And the parking brakes are set. The circuit breakers Everybody is in, and the avionic switch it is off, and the carb heat is off. The beacon and the strobe lights, strobe, and the beacon and strobe lights are on. The master switch. will go on the fuel pump will go on mixture will go full rich the throttle will go a quarter open and the primer as needed prop area clear both sides are clear, mm -hmm. and uh, we can start to this baby. I missed the master switch with the alternator. Master switch on. Okay. All right. Engine on the green. Okay. And the oil pressure. It's on the green. The fuel pump will go off. The mixture will go lean. Mixture would go lean. Avionics master will go on. Transponder is tested. And one, two, and three. And one more time. Okay. Got my screen for my GPS. Okay. My frequency is here 128.775 for my ADAS, 121 for my ground, 7, and uh, 119er. And the checklist, it is complete. Okay. You want to write it down? One, two, two, three, Charlie Lima. Dezembro 23, um, dos, dois, três, Lima. One, two, two, three, Charlie Lima. No, there's an extra there. <laughs> What's Dezembro uh -huh. 12, 23, Lima. 23 de Dezembro, Lewis. 2, 3, Lima. 2, 3, Lima. Okay. Okay. And, uh... Three zero zero eight. Three zero.
zero zero one. Right. Right. ground. Uh, good morning, Cherokee. One two two three Lima at spot one with information Tango is ready to copy IFR clearance. One, two, two, three, Lima. You're clear to Kissimmee Airport as file. Maintain 2,000. Expect 4,000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 119.4. Squawk, 2055. Cleared as filed, ex uh, climb 2000, expect uh, 4000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.4, scock 2055. 2-3 uh, Lima red bike is correct, but I'm ready to taxi. Affirmative 2-3 Lima. Do you like affirmative 2-3 Lima? Uh, just 2-3 Lima. 2-3 Lima. Two zero five five. I got my transponder right this point. Okay, so we move out of here. We go for run up. Let's say the run up is complete. Run out is complete. Make sure you set your navigation. Maybe Orlando VR on the for the number one. All right. So VR number one should be set on Orlando VR one one two point two. Okay. See? So sorry. Go ahead. You see, it is in the pre. Is it? It's set on the standby on the on that side. Uh huh. It's on the bottom, so it's on the standby. Put it on the top. No, on the left side. Left, left. The left. V. That V, Victor, right there. Right there. Yes. So we're gonna go for the Orlando but VOR. Keep it, keep it on top, right? Keep there. it on top. On Going the on bottom. The, on the bottom. No, on the bottom. You see the panel. Look at the one one six point zero. Yes. Switch it to this to the active. To the active. Right there. One one six point zero. Okay, you have all of those. One one six point zero. I got all those. So Lakeland VOR, VOR two. And that's my Orlando VOR at the frequency of 112.20. So we're set with those two. Okay, so the run up it is complete. And uh, taxi lights. Okay. Um, Light camera in action. Lights. Landing lights or taxi lights and landing lights. Lights. Camera. Action. And we got that right. And uh, we're going to go for. Oops. It's not. I just hit it. That's not meant like this. Okay. So. The Cement Tower, Cherokee, two three Lima is ready for departure. Mm. Two three Lima on departure flight heading two seven zero runway one five clear for takeoff. Uh, runway one five heading two seven zero two three Lima. Clear for departure. Clear for takeoff. And the brakes will be released. And uh, we are going to go.
from the lighter off. Standard rate return, standard rate turn. Simit Tower, Cherokee, two three Lima at two thousand. Two three Lima. Maintain two thousand, heading two seven zero. Contact Orlando departure. Contact in Orlando departure, two three Lima. Orlando departure, Cherokee 23 Lima at the 2000 heading 270. Cherokee 23 Lima, Lima radar contact, um, four miles southwest from Kissimmee. Turn heading uh, 360, Clama maintain 3000. Five minutes maintain 3000 heading 360, 23 Lima. Go ahead and cover your uh, two three Lima left turn heading uh, three zero zero left turn three zero zero left turn three zero zero
Two three Lima, they're heading two one zero. Heading two one zero, two three Lima. What's the power setting on cruise? 21, yeah. what's your altitude? Wow. I overshoot it too much. Two one zero two three Lima. Two three Lima say altitude. At three thousand. Two three Lima maintain three thousand. instruments are checked and the fuel quantity it is checked and the checklist it is complete um, I wish I had a timer which I'm going to do it right now for my fuel airplanes going up and down Two three Lima. Turn heading one five zero. Heading one five zero two three Lima. Shoot was right on top. Over shoot south. Right on top. I landed right in between the one five. That's right. Nine. Um, one two three a Lima. There is no way. One two. Uh, one two three. Lima. Two three Lima. Two three Lima. Proceed direct to Lakeland B O R. Proceed direct to. Lakeland VOR, 23 Lima. So, if I sneak peek right here to this guy, I have to chase VOR at the bottom, so I have to chase the needle. So, 
Let's see. So first of all, you have to identify the VOR, the Morse code. Yes. Legland VOR. So we have a tune. You yeah. have to ident. Ident. How do I do that? On the panel. On Below the, the frequency. It says ident. Uh. On the nav. On the nav side. It says ident. No. It's right here. Ident. Okay. Would that act you like this, the same as on the plane? There yeah. is an ident button there? Yes. I don't know how to identify that's L-A-L, -L, Lakeland. That's Lakeland, yes. We would have a chart so we can look at the, at the Morse is, code. The Morse code? But I, we can hear it. It's identified. You can turn it off. Now, how do you fly straight to Lakeland VOR? Well, I'm flying south. No, I'm flying uh, 190. Alright, we're supposed to maintain 150, right? Yes. So, so what yeah. do we do? Oh, I'm already turning. Remove the remove the, the paper. Paper. Yeah, right. Okay. 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 Come on. Take heading two one zero. Two one zero. Maintain altitude. Maintain my altitude. Two one zero. Two one zero. Okay. What am I gonna do now? I know I'm going 210. Remember what we practice in private? How do we go straight to Lakeland VOR? You just center the needle? Okay. Because right. I'm not intercepting yet, yes? No, I just want you to just fly straight to... Fly straight to VOR. So just Lakeland chase my VOR. needle. Am I going to keep 210? But in order for me to get to the VOR. For now, maintain 210 until you figure out what heading is going to take you to the VOR. So, what do you have to do? I don't know. Did you prepare the homework? No, I did not. Oh. Sorry. And that, that's why. So, you didn't read about VOR and stuff. I have read it and studied before. I did not recap it. But for today? For today, no, I did not. Ah. All right. Let's see. So we have to twist the OBS. Ah, twist the OBS. So you have to select it, because it's selected right now in number one. So you have push and hold. No, I mean, below. You see the OBS? Below, below, in the, in the panel. In the panel here. Right. OBS right. two. Push and hold. Push it. Easy. Gentle. Yes. Ah. Push. Push? No pull. Okay, push. Push again. Push again. You see highlighted number two? Yes. Okay, now we can twist the VR okay. number two. So you have to center the needle. Uh So at two five zero, I know I'm on the radio two five zero and heading two one zero. So I have a wind 
situation here. So what heading are you flying to? To go to Legland? I'm flying on the, the radio 250 and my heading is now 215. Look at your altitude. I am correcting it. and center the CDI, center again and fly that needle center. Center the CDI again on lap number two and keep the needle center. What's our distance from Lakeland? What's our distance from Lakeland? Yes. Well, hopefully... It, it says on the little window. Oh, that's... There is a little window on right there. Amy, uh -huh. 15 miles. Uh -huh. How many miles? 15. 14. 14.8. 14. Okay. Why is the needle is a little off-center? How can we fly straight to Lakeland BOR? Let's try to keep the needle center. Yes. Okay.
pop out if we send her the needle again. And then we keep that heading. There it's center. Bring it to the center. Okay, what heading are you supposed to fly? 250, but I'm heading 300. To Trilima, fly direct to Orlando VOR. Flying direct to Orlando VOR to Trilima. To three Lima, say altitude. Uh, to three Lima at the three thousand. I'm showing uh, two thousand eight hundred three to Lima altimeter two nine or nine or two. Two nine or nine or two. Two nine or nine or two. Two three Lima. So what radio you're on from the Orlando VOR right now? In order for me to get to the Orlando VOR? No, on what radio you're on? On uh, from the Orlando VOR. 
according to what you got in the instruments here. I mean, if you keep it centered, please. Zero four zero and zero four five zero four five. So look at your VOR. My VOR for me to go there, I would fly zero four zero. Three and four. Okay. Zero Three and four, four zero. Zero four zero. And I'm heading there at the three five. So on what head on what radio you're on from the Orlando VOR? Zero four zero. No, I am on the opposite. I am on the two two zero. Okay, is that a what cardinal direction you're from the VOR? I am southwest, south between south and west at two two zero. Southwest of the VOR. Southwest from the VOR. VOR is here. Uh -huh. I am you're right here. Which means you are where? The VOR is north, west, northeast of me. Uh huh. And I am southwest of the VOR. Correct. Yes. That's what I said. So the VOR is right here on top of me. Right here, that's uh -huh. where the VOR is, northeast. Okay, right there. Uh -huh. And I am here at the bottom, southwest of it. Right. So you're in the two. Two, two, zero. Two, two, zero. Two, two, zero. Two, two, zero. Right. Yes. Two two zero. It's spilling out of the VOR. In order for me to get to that one, that's the so why I'm doing. Zero. Yes. Right. With a heading on. What heading you have? I have now with the correction for the wind zero six zero, but I'm, I'm on the radio zero four zero. Okay. Zero four zero. Right there. There's no wind today. Okay. <laughs> All right. Zero four zero. Zero four zero. That's where so I am. So we have heading zero four zero, and yeah. you're on the rail two two zero, right, going toward the VOR. Correct. Yes. What if you want to intercept the two three radio? So what do you have to do? Uh, two three zero. I have to go. You have to turn to the left, right? Yes. So why don't we set up here to three zero on the bottom? The needle is gonna deflect most probably which direction? Two three. It's gonna deflect to the left, right? The left. Okay. Left. So now we have to turn to the left. How much? Very little like this. And what we have to turn to the left to intercept it. Is it the well 30 is too much. I would turn it all depends where we are and what we want to accomplish. Uh -huh. Right? Now you can visualize which way to turn if you look at this one. Maybe we can turn heading off north. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanna be more um, precise. No, uh, get I it or intercept it a little faster, you can use a little more turn. You know, more to the left. A little bit more. So why don't we turn to the north to intercept that needle? Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Makes sense. Okay. After we intercept and then we fly the heading correct. Mm -hmm. At least I got the altitude a little bit more stable. We can intercept with different headings. It could be a 30 degree intercept angle, mm -hmm. 45, 
70, 90, whatever we want to accomplish. Yes. Okay, if we're far away from the VOR, it's gonna take us longer. Okay. How far away are we from the VOR? 30 miles. So we're pretty far away, right? Mm -hmm. So right now we have, see this 30, 40, 50 degree intercept angle, because we're flying north, yep. right? We have a 50 degree intercept angle. If we want to intercept it a little faster, maybe we, you can even turn more to the left, right? Okay. Almost a 90 degree. A 90 degree. Or 80. It all depends what we want to do. Why don't we turn to heading 340? Three, 340. Three, and see what happens. I will keep an eye on that needle until that needle start going. Start moving, start to moving the towards the center. Yes. Move 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. Well, on the real plane, my G GME won't be here, isn't it? It'll be on the plane. Right. So you see the needle is moving toward the center now? Yes, I see. So as soon as it starts getting close to the center, what heading we want to turn to? to we want to turn, maintain close to five, zero, 050. Zero. So it's going to be zero 050, zero, yes? Yes. Okay. We move a little bit closer one more time. Excuse me, I'm going to get your bubble. Please, no problem. Careful with the snake. <laughs> no, it's an alligator. We live in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh, start moving. Okay. All right. After we do this, we're going to switch the things. Once we intercept it, keep keep it in the center.
with a needle. It is centered. Yeah, distance from Orlando VOR? 23.8. All right, now I want you to intercept. So what heading are you using to intercept that one? I initially tried 360 okay. and then I did now 350 just to make it maybe a little bit quicker. Now I'm 355. Okay. Find 355. I already moved some. I'm at 21 miles to the VOR so things can happen faster. Five five. Two four zero from the VOR heading zero six zero. Okay. And I'm at uh, eighteen point nine miles from the VOR. Center, yeah, un looks poquinho. like center, right? It is un pochino. My, my son knows how to say un pochino in Portuguese, too. <laughs> you should know that, too. I want you to intercept back the two three zero. Back to two three zero. Two three zero. Okay. Two three zero. Going back there. So I'm gonna have to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. 
looks like heading 120 for, well, let's go ahead. yet. Okay. Now we are getting close to Lima descend and maintain uh, 1500. Descend and maintain 1500 to 3 Lima. Now it's center. 2 3 Lima, Lima, give me a Right turn, right turn, heading uh, one eight zero. Right turn one eight zero two three Lima. Um, best rate of descent, please. Uh, Excuse two me. Three Lima. Best rate of descent, please. Give me your best rate of descent. What is my best rate of descent? Five hundred. Well, yeah, don't climb because we're descending. Let's go to a thousand feet per minute. To three Lima on a heading of one eight zero intercept the localizer. On the heading of one eight zero intercepting localizer. The needle is coming just like the VOR. Let's turn one five zero. And now we're using number two. I put it there for you. Oh you put in number uh -huh. two, I was looking on the top. So let's turn to the left. 2-3 Lima, left turn heading of one, one four zero. One four zero to 3 Lima. And one two three Lima, descend to 1,200. 1,200 to 3 Lima. Full forward. So maintain your altitude. Maintain my altitude 1200. Now let's turn a little bit more to the left. More to the left at 140. with the airport outside. Again my fight for my localizer. So look at the glider slope. You see the glider slope? Mm -hmm. Now it's centered, so establish a descent of 
rate of descent may be 500 feet per minute power back for flaps 1 flaps 1 400 to 500 feet per minute will maintain the rest rate of descent I mean the localized the glider slope so I'm here I'm on the top so it means I'm high slightly high so you have to go down a little bit so be gentle with the application of controls right there all that Maybe a tiny little bit to the left to bring the needles back to the center. Don't go below glide so. Well, too much. Contact tower, 2 3 Lima. Uh, tower controlled. Watch, fly the plane. Just keep it steady. Don't, don't go up and down. Just look at the, look at the glider slope. See, we're going down. Yep. See, we're going, we're going down. The rain ahead. Runway inside. You see the runway outside? I see the runway, but I'm trying to center this baby here. Okay. I'm still too low. The rain. <laughs> yes. Look outside. I drop the nose a little bit. Right there. You see the runway? Yes. Runway inside. Runway inside, 23 Lima. 23 Lima, clear to land, runway 15. Clear to land, 15, 23 Lima. After landing checklist, flaps are up. Flaps are up. And landing lights are off. My fuel pump is off. Make sure go lean. And trim is set to neutral and the checklist is complete. Okay, shut down checklist. Shut down. So it's the parking checklist you call in shut down, yes? <laughs> After that, shut down. Parking brakes are set. The avionics master would go off. The mixture is cut. The beacon and the strobe lights are off. Master suites are off. The magnetos are off. Off, keys it's here. Mm -hmm. Okay, parking brakes are released. Vaccine are recorded. Control wheels are locked, secured. Tie downs will be secured, and the post-flight inspection will be complete.